Hi guys, Ebony Glam here. Really sorry that it's been a few days since my last video. Been waiting for deliveries to come. Today's video is going to be a Makeup Academy review for you guys. I have not used any of these products on my face. I've bought them all myself. Here's the receipt. This is not sponsored. So there will be no bullshit in this review. It will be all first hand what I think. So, disclaimer. If I don't like it, I'll say. Also, Makeup Academy, if you see this video and feel like collaborating and doing something, please email me. I have quite a few products here today. I don't have a mascara because I couldn't find one that I liked. And also, they haven't got a pale enough foundation that suits my skin tone as I am a pale MF. Today I'm going to um, I'm going to swatch the products for you, um, finger swatch and brush swatch the eyeshadows that I have, and obviously brush swatch everything else, and then basically I'm going to do a makeup look with the products so you can see how the eyeshadows blend on my eyes, how well the highlighter gives me glow, and this is MUA's Pro Base Prime and Conceal Correcting Cream in the shade Green. For some reason, because I'm filming this on my phone, because I'm not a beauty girl and can't afford a camera yet, so it's not going to focus for you guys. But yeah, you can see it's green. It's a green concealer. It's quite a nice thick consistency and it's blending really nice on my skin and it's not leaving too much of a green undertone, which some of these can leave and then it's a bitch to get out sorry for the effing but it is <laughs> right let me just check my receipt one of the cheapest products i bought this was three pounds so for three pounds you can't complain just try and see if i can bring it up on camera you can there you go so there is where i've put it it's nice and green that's gonna help with my redness on my cheeks and for any blemishes right I picked up a new eyeliner. I haven't used a gel eyeliner in ages. I have got an MUA other eyeliner that I have purchased. I purchased this at a different time and I think this was also three pounds. This is their Voluminous Felt Eyeliner from the MUA looks but i have had this a while and i do suggest it's really really black actually i'll swatch it for you so you can see see how black that is black and that's quite a straight line for a left-handed person so yeah i highly recommend that got this gel on my makeup academy this is i got this on my shop my recent shop this cost me three pounds as well it comes with a cute little dainty brush and again so this is the gel and that's the liquid still rather black it's just quite a nice eyeliner actually and it feels quite nice on the skin it's got a little bit of a shine to it as well so it looks just like the um liquid eyeliner but obviously smooth on the skin and it doesn't dry so those are the eyeliners i've purchased so i found this at, in the mua looks area i think this was four pounds this is their power brow long wear sculpting brow gel in the shade mid brown been using this a lot so i have had a um well i've used it a lot but still there's quite a lot left in there for how much i've used that's the uh, eyeliner. As you can see, it's a lovely shade, really good shade for people with dark blonde and ginger hair. And also if you have really light brown, but if people prefer a lighter brow, then obviously each to everyone that wants a lighter brow, the options there, it's really good. Lasts forever and it sets really, really quickly. Literally, you can do that and it, your eyebrow will not rub off. I'm going to show you now the highlighter. I've got the AM MUA Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlight. 
you probably can't see much on the camera. This is in the shade Peach Diamond. It says lightweight powder that transforms your complexion with luminescent shimmer. Right, so as you can see, it's really, really pale. Which means it's paler than my skin, which is a good start. Because when you already wear quite pale foundation, you want a pale highlight. I'm terrible. Right, there you go. You can see it now. So that's the highlighter. It's very, very pale. And it has peach undertone, which is why it's called Peach Diamond and Pink Undertones. So it's good for my skin because I have a pink undertone. This is because I'm going to have to use a fair bit because I like a lot of glow. Um, if anyone knows who Pheromone is, um, drag queen from season 9's RuPaul's Drag Race. She likes her highlight. Bitch, I feel you. I love my highlight. So, yeah. This also cost me £3. So for £3, if it does the job, I can't complain because I can easily purchase more if I have to use a lot more, which is what I like about cheap products. If they're not as pigmented and I have to use more to get it pigmented, then I can easily um, afford to replace it once I hit pan. Um, one of my favourite products I've picked up is this. This is the Velvet Lip Lacquer from the MUA Lux part. Um, it's Long Wear Matte Finish Lip Lacquer. And it is in the shade Splash. And it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous blue colour. And I believe I paid, yep, I paid £3 again for this. And it was on a th three for two offer. Yeah, Superdrug had a three for two offer. So I ended up buying six products from Superdrug, including some wipes, which are not MUA. The other five products were MUA. And I've I've always wanted a really nice blue lip lacquer that was affordable. But I think it's the only one on the market, drugstore-wise, that I have found that does a blue. So props to you, MUA, for that. And it smells so good. It smells, it smells like bubble gum. Like hubba bubba bubble gum. That's what it smells like. That is, it just smells so sweet, but not overpowering, but it just smells like something that what you want on your lips that doesn't smell like normal makeup right and it swatches to this gorgeous gorgeous blue shade and it dries quite quick because I tested this in the shop wanted to see what it came if it came out as dark as in the tube and as you can see it's pretty feckin' pigmented it's not patchy it's one straight blue line so if you're looking for a blue lip gloss like me and you need to buy this right i'm just going to leave that on my hand and wait for it to dry this has got 25 shadows in and it cost me eight pounds 25 shadows this is makeup academy's tropical oceana palette and i am not joking you this is the nice rain nicest rainbowest palette i've ever found and I actually own the Full Spectrum palette by Urban Decay. And this stuff, if they are as pigmented as those shadows, trump it completely. This is an utter dupe for that palette. Like, literally, almost utter dupe, except for the fact they don't have a neutral line. And, a, um, well, yeah, they don't have a neutral line. This is literally full of mattes and shimmer shades for, and there's mattes for every colour so you've got your row of peaches and oranges this colour here is going to do a amazing pumpkin makeup tutorial that i have planned we've got pinks we've got purples this is my favorite these two purple shimmers here and here are life they give me life literally this one is like an iridescent purpley pink. Then you've got greens. Obviously, I love a green because I have brown eyes. So, we're all about green. And we've got these lovely aquas and blues. And I'm going to be using this um, this row today to do the makeup look because I have my blue lip black out. So, I'll be doing an all blue look for you today. Right, so I'm going to swatch these for you now and show you the pigmentation. 
I'm going to start with the orange and peach row and then get down to business and end down this bit. Right, so this first shade, none of these, oh, they do have names on the back. That's really helpful actually, MUA, with it being on the back. I hate those polythene pieces of paper that tell you the names of what they're called. Oh, so annoying. Just either put it on the back or put it in between at the bottom. Nobody wants the little polythene because then you have to keep putting it over the shadows and referring to what colour shade you're using. It's really annoying. Right, so we've got this very nice matte peach. Right, so I've already dipped in once. I'm going to dip twice and then swatch. I'm going to do a brush, a brush swatch as well. Right, that is... Right, this is through no fault of their own. Um but it doesn't come up very well on my skin. Yeah, this colour is the shade. This would not work for me. But for the price, I do not mind having a couple of shades that don't work for me. Because I'm so pale, the shade, this shade is called Reef. This peach shade here, because it's coming up quite light on camera, it's very close to my skin tone as you can see when I put it close to any of my skin, so it won't work for me. But if you have a darker skin tone, that will look stunning on you. And they are very pigmented from what I can see. They are up here, they're very pigmented. Well, that shade is very pigmented. I'm just going to take a wipe because I've used like a majority of my hand doing that one. Right, I'm going to change the way I do it and I'm going to go on my arm because I have tattoos this side so I can't do that side. Alright the next shade is this like terracotta repeat shade here. This is called Starfish. <laughs> pigmentation it's just ridiculous and obviously they are buildable because then you can just build with either your finger or a brush but that's the shade starfish I'm going to use the next shade this is this orange shade here I've just started to dip in this is called ecstasy <laughs> So that's Ecstasy and Starfish. So far so good. For £8 we're on to a winner, winner chicken dinner. Alright, next shade is this cross between a terracotta and a peach, a dark peach. I should say that these three shades, these four shades actually, on the top are all matte and then that is the only shimmer orange this end one so we're going to take this is called shellfish so we've got starfish these two shades ecstasy these two shades and shellfish these two shades for eight pounds, look at the pigmentation, it's amazing. I'm just gonna clean off my brush. I'm using a makeup wipe at the minute to clean my brush. Right, and then the last of the orange shades is this shimmer shade called Paradise. <laughs> If you were to apply this with your finger you'd get more colour payoff um, during the look because look at that colour seriously I'm trying to like pick up it is stunning literally it's a I can't even begin to tell you how amazing that is this little pale pale pink this is called Nirvana by the way um, the lipstick's fully fully dry now like completely not budgeable dry Nope. 
nope it's not going to pick it up right we'll just move along then because that's just a waste um next we're going to do this dark pink shade that's called shell see the pink all right we're starting to get some color now but right, those two shades in the pink are matte the um nirvana and shell they're matte we're then going on to this middle pink shade this is a shimmer and it's called joy <laughs> you wanted that to have loads of payoff it would be best applied with your finger I think if you're not going to blend it like if you're just going to put it like in the middle of your eyes here such a beautiful colour right, I'm going to move swiftly on Equator Equator I thought it said Ecuador then I was going to that's a weird name for a shadow that's a place <laughs> Like the finger swatches alone are just so pigmented. And that was one dip actually. I didn't even go in for a second dip. And that's one dip. Alright, so that is Equator. Then we now finish the pinks with this bright pink on the end. This is called Elated, this pink here. <laughs> Those are the pinks. Right. First up, we have this gorgeous lilac colour. It's not even, yes, it is showing up on camera now. This is called Rapture. And there you go. There is the purple colours. Rapture, they look like they would be a really good shade to start some bruising for a, a makeup look. The next one is my favourite shade in the purple, it's Euphoria. And that is Euphoria. It's coming up pink on camera but I assure you it is. The most iridescent purple shade it's beautiful right next we've got the um darker uh, i think that's kind of a violety shade this is called delight there you go and up close even then you can see they're still super pigmented there's no lies i would not lie to you right then the next shade is this gorgeous purple shade that i said i also enjoyed this is called cruise and that's cruise those two are cruise You've got Cruise, Delight, Euphoria, and Rapture. So, and then we've got the last shade, which is called Tide. So we're going to dab and swipe. Oh, oh it's making a, a ruckus. Oh, wow. This is actually very close to my lip shade. And that was just one swipe that time and that is tied so we have done the purples we've got green and blue left and then I'm gonna crack on with a makeup look for you just want to let you all know that I will be doing a Pokemon inspired makeup series that um, will probably begin next week now would have began what day are we on if I have time, I will put, I will start 
on Saturday. So if you could leave in the comments um, what Pokemon is you would like me to start off with, inspiring me for makeup, then I can start making my plans. Oh, these greens. I'm going to start with this very cute grassy green. What is it even grass? I don't It's a yellowy greeny shimmer. This is called Refresh. see that right, you'll have to excuse the fact obviously this is a fluffy brush it's for blending and it's kind of just blending into the skin so as I said these would blend like a dream and it has right that's refresh I'm gonna go on to the next shade that is a matte matte mint green and it is called currants <laughs> Again, as you can see, my cameras might be picking it up. It's like super chunky. Like, I don't know what that is. I think your matte shades, MUA, might need a little bit, a little bit more work, but I'm open to try more. The next one is this gorgeous green. It's my favourite green shade. I'm obsessed with the shimmers in this palette. It's called Fins. <laughs> Again, if I was putting these colours on, I would just put them on top using my finger. One of those really old, um, old-fashioned sponge eyeshadow things, and then just blend the edges out. If it was me, right next is this matte grass colour. This is called Voyage. <laughs> shade this would do a really nice poison ivy look because there are so many variations of um the looks right and then finally for the greens you we have the shade marine <laughs> I apologise if the lighting is poor today. As I was waiting for deliveries, I was trying to wait as possible as I could before filming this to make sure I had everything. That's marine, that is absolutely stunning swatch. If you could pick up the shades on camera, you'd be blown away. Seriously. I mean what more? What is that Elise? It's eight pounds. It's eight eight pounds for twenty-five shades. And you're bound to find one that you absolutely adore. At least four in there is like bound to draw you in. Right. And I think I'm going to leave the surprise of the blues to my eyeshadow palette and then fill you in on the shades I used. I think I'm going to use majority of them. So you'll be able to judge for yourself whether or not the blue shades well they're all going to swatch the same i would think they're all super pigmented so even the ones that are a little bit flaky they're even pigmented even though they're flaky so i'm going to pop off and do my makeup for you guys and then come back hey guys it's ebony glam again i'm back so basically i've gone and Made you a makeup look with all the new stuff I've bought. This is the finished projector highlight. It is very buildable. Feels really, really no nice and soft. And as you can see, that glow there, amazing. This lipstick is completely matte. Um, it's a little bit 
like hard to apply that's why mine's a bit messy but here's the best bit nothing not a dot and for three quid you can't complain seriously the eyeliner was a struggle to put on because the um, brush didn't want to do as I wanted but um, eventually I got the knack of it just took a couple of attempts but that's most people's eyeliner story so I can't really complain there um, blending as you can see I, I've tried to do a dark cut crease I think I've achieved it to some extent remember guys I'm not a beauty guru I just really love makeup and I've been practicing for a long long time so yeah this is the makeup look contoured highlighted and everything else but yeah the shadows went on super pigmented I used all of the blue ones on the bottom looks dark anyway Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and join my creepy family. I promise you'll have fun. Our channel is cool. And um, I'll see you again in my next video. It will be at some point this week. Love you all. Bye.